Far away from the noise and the rush of the big cities, there is a small town where time passes by quite slowly. Life is simple here, but the people are happy. A few hours ago, work time was over and everyone is back home in comfort. One of them, however, isn't included. He is one of the few people who is accustomed to working at this late hour. Day by day, he pursues the same work, the same routine. He has been doing this for almost 40 years and he has seen many people come and go, but he remains. Every time the lights are turned off, the doors are closed and nobody is watching anymore, something curious happens. This is the story of Thomas. Thomas had to be at his station all the time, exposed to the public scrutiny. Nevertheless, the people didn't pay any attention to him, except on that one particular day. Thomas asked himself every day, every time the lights were turned off, every time the doors were closed, what could be outside, beyond his sign? But today, the time has come. Today is closing time. Angry and absolutely determined, Thomas tries everything to finally break out. Everything. There has to be a way out, into freedom. Thomas could hardly believe it. He did it! But what is waiting for him in the other world? Luckily, he is still alive. He notices fast that this world isn't only looking completely different. It also has its own rules. Thomas can't believe his own eyes. He's really not alone out here. But his happiness turns fast into disappointment. He doesn't get a reaction. And there, another person. No reaction. Thomas is very frustrated. Another person. Someone has to finally respond. But again, no reaction. Thomas's rage will turn into panic because He's not only alone, but also lost. Exhausted and sad, Thomas comes to the conclusion that he is the only one who wants to escape the lonely and routine life. Just at that moment, as he is about to accept his fate, something was about to happen. Something that will change his life forever. Thomas faces the facts. He was made redundant. This is his end.
shocked and not able to move, he recognizes he is still here and he's not alone.
No. C'est la sélection naturelle. Tout ça abandonné, mais après, c'est tout. Attention, tu savoures, ne te boiffre pas, Darwin. Hein Mais il a tout gommé. Tu veux manger Eh ben, tiens, t'as qu'à bouffer ça. Quoi Comment t'as fait Montre à papa comment t'as fait. Ouvre la petite boîte. Oh, mais c'est pas possible, tu vas me l'ouvrir oh, Ils sont revenus De toute façon, tu leur montres un iceberg devant, ils le verraient même pas. Il manquait plus que ça, hein Voilà, un iceberg Un seul putain d'iceberg De la bouffe Viens par là, toi Cette fois, je te garantis que tu vas l'ouvrir Oh, oh non, c'est pas possible
préfères dire iceberg ou iceberg, toi Oh Non, parce que normalement, la prononciation, c'est iceberg, mais personne dit iceberg, en fait. Il enfin, y en a qui le disent. Hein. Oh. Mm.